Hi, I'm Monica Galetti, and I'm here in Ascot with Lavazza. I'm making up one of my favorite drinks that I love to enjoy in the sun. It is very refreshing, and I hope you'll give it a try at home as well. So we start off with some ice. We have some bitter liqueur, and my secret here is a Lavazza infused honey infused at the restaurant for about eight, nine days to get the wonderful bitter flavor through it, and still got sweetness from the honey. So about this equal amount, and then we have some vermouth. Stir for about 30 seconds. You want it all to, to mix together. And then just a little bit of the orange. Just squeeze it and you can smell the orange. And we pop it down the middle and there we have it. Enjoy. It has been really fun to match and, and, and pair uh, Lavazza coffee uh, and bring in a bit of fun that you enjoy for aperitivo. We have made these really lovely coffee infused grazzini sticks um, and you know just bake them off and what you can do you can just brush a little bit of a nice coffee over the top and you let it sit so more of the coffee flavor goes through it I know I'm pairing that with a elderflower clotted cream and the elderflower um, we take and we make a vinegar from it and we use that to sour the cream and of course elderflower you know it's everywhere here in the UK especially in, in the summer and then of course uh, pancetta with grissini uh, this I make at the restaurant and it's been aged for about three months and it just has a little fine coffee powder sort of just sprinkled over the top and I think with aperitivo, it's fun to just sit there with a group of friends and you just help yourself to some amazing food. The addition of the coffee, uh, for me, has been something quite special to add to it. My next aperitivo snack are these puff cases. Really simple. It's just a mix of flour, water, a little bit of salt and oil. Mix it, deep fry them for about five minutes on 160, very slow, and they puff up like this. I've filled it with a, a salt cod mix and I've got here Fabulous, who would have thought? Lavazza coffee mayonnaise. And you don't need a lot, just over the top, like so. It has the cod mix inside. And then because we've got these amazing sort of um, chive and, and garlic flowers in, in the gardens at the moment, just a little bit over the top. And then just a light dusting of the coffee powder. And the last one, so I've got some beautiful sourdough here. And it's a Lavazza coffee infused butter that we've made and that you can actually be quite generous with it. We have some smoked anchovies and also the nasturtium flowers. I have them growing everywhere, but it's the sharpness of the flowers and the leaves that work so well with the coffee here. Because you can, a little bit more Lavazza coffee on top. There you have it, enjoy.